should you buy an American-made guitar? Or should you buy something like that guitar and import? Both good choices. For a lot of people, this is a big choice and often a very expensive choice. I have some solid advice for you from a young gun who has sold guitars for over a decade now. So stick around through the whole video to listen to some of my advice. But before we get into that, I have one question I need to ask you. Why should you buy any guitar? I mean, yeah, obviously you should buy a guitar. You want to play a guitar. That's the main reason that you want to buy a guitar. Of course you should buy a guitar, and you should buy the Git Fill that you want to buy. In my experience, American-made guitars play a little bit better than the imported guitars, with the exception of Japanese-built guitars. Japanese-built guitars are absolutely awesome, and I highly recommend those as well. But not all of them. If a cheaper import guitar sounds and feels good to you, well then use that guitar, go with your gut, play that guitar and buy that guitar. If the guitar speaks to you and inspires you on any level, then you should buy that guitar. If that's the case, there might not be a reason for you to buy an American made guitar. It's all about the mojo, baby. All about the mojo. What you like in the guitar is what you like in the guitar. Sometimes they just kind of have that mojo too. You can just pick up a guitar and you go, oh, that's it. That's the feeling that I'm looking for. And then you know. But real quick, let me give you some reasons to buy a high-end American guitar or just American-made guitars. You see, American guitars are kind of like high-end whiskeys or some nice wines. Over time, these guitars age, and if taken care of, they can feel and sound fantastic. Not always, but a lot of the times, this case is true. Coincidentally, they are also kind of like real estate in the sense that they may appreciate value. Again, not always true, but a lot of times. If you had a guitar from the 1950s and it was in really good condition, well, then it would probably be worth a fair amount of money today. Now, I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not saying that if you buy an American-made guitar today, that it'll be worth something in 50 years because I don't know. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Maybe nobody will play guitar in 50 years. But if people are still playing guitar in 50 years, which I think that they might, your guitar might be worth a little bit more. It'll be considered a vintage piece at that point. Another thing to consider is that some companies like Fender might give you incentive to go buy an American-made guitar. They might do this by offering higher quality woods that the guitar is built out of, or better hardware on the guitar itself, or maybe the pickups are an American-made pickup that just sound a little bit sweeter, maybe just sound a little bit louder and a little bit brighter. Maybe those inlays on that American-made guitar are eyeballing you from across the room. But wait, Cliff, couldn't I just take my $100 guitar and equip it with a bunch of really nice hardware and really cool sounding pickups? And of course you can do that. It likely won't hold the value of an American-made guitar. So if you are looking to invest in an American-made guitar based on financial-driven reasons, well then, go ahead and buy the American-made guitar. Don't buy a cheaper guitar load it up with a bunch of expensive hardware and expect to make a lot of money down the road because usually that's not gonna happen. Now if you are just trying to buy a guitar that looks and plays great and the guitar has a good feel and then you upgrade the pickups and upgrade the hardware and make it sound really great, well then stick with the guitar, that's the cheaper option. By the way, what we call it in the guitar shop when an American made guitar has a bunch of traded out parts like pickups or hardware and stuff like that. We typically refer to that as player grade, which means that it is no longer an investment guitar or a collector-based guitar. It is now a player guitar. So if you're just a player that likes to jam on those guitars, well, that's a good choice. It's player grade at that point. So again, if your goal is playability alone, well, then you could totally upgrade the parts and have a great playing and great feeling guitar that's gonna do right by you and help you write many a song and jam out with many a people. But if you're financially driven as a collector, well, then you wouldn't want to change out any of the parts. You probably would be better going off towards the American point of view when buying a guitar. You'll, you'll thank me later. Look, just take an import Strat. Let's take a Fender Strat. Let's take an import version of that and then A, B it 
with an American made strat. The import strat is fantastic. It's gonna feel great, but it's probably not gonna feel as good as the American made strat. The American version plays just a little bit better. Come on, be honest with yourself. So if you're watching this right now in the parking lot of your local guitar shop, trying to decide which you're going to buy, the import or the American made guitar, I say do yourself a favor, just buy the American made guitar. Do it. Go for that quality. You deserve it. Guys, if you like this kind of content, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button and that like button so that the algorithm may feed this video to other people who might be wondering what kind of guitar they should buy. As a bonus, here's a picture of my dog. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. American, 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 American.